What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony from the Six. I don't even know if I'm from the Six anymore with the spots that I'd be shooting from in wreck, literally half court wreck. This jump shot is absolute water, nothing but greens, fadeaways, step backs, pull ups, does not matter. Make sure you guys like up the video, subscribe if you're new. We're going to hit 23,000 subscribers this week, which is huge. I've been going absolutely crazy, putting in a lot of work for y'all with the jump shots, mixtapes, etc. So I need y'all to like up the video. What I'm showing you guys here is that I literally shot 100% from the field in one prime game while scoring 40 points in a close game. Right now, the score doesn't look coarse because I was torching them at halftime. We were up 30 to 15. They ended up catching up in the second half. We only won by six, but I still made 14 out of 14 shots while shooting 100% from the field. And it's not like I'm taking wide open corner shots. Y'all can see these are contested. 14% covered does not matter. Look at that. He's at the side, contested, 34. At halftime, I had 34 with 100% field goal. They were on me in the second half, and I did not want to lose. So I was kind of helping my teammates. I was taking smart shots. I ended up, like I said, with 40 points on 14 for 14 shooting. Look at that. Quick steal, pull up, drank. See what I'm saying? They caught up. We were only up by six in the fourth quarter. Here we go, up by six again. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to green that because that's me. We end up winning by six, 14 for 14, 12 for 12. I got some other clips as well. This game, I was just, I don't know. We were playing some sweats as well. They were playing good defense. That clip was not good defense. That was horrible. Um, I ended up scoring, I think, 17 in the first quarter on a 100% field goal. Just not being able to miss. You guys can see the scores, uh, scores close. Um, one thing, though, if you guys want the badge layout that I'm using, I dropped a badge layout video yesterday for all game modes. Park, 3v3 Prime, Rec, uh, 5v5 Prime, and for my career. That will be in the description. That video is really good because it shows you the different kind of badge loadouts that I'd be using for all different game modes, right? And if you're playing Rec or you're playing Park, you have to change up the badges because if you keep those same badges, it's not like some badges aren't useful in the Park like they are in Pro-Am. Volume Shooter in Pro-Am is a fantastic badge. In the Park, it's not that much because some games you might only take three or four shots. Some games you might take seven, but even then it does not help as much as some of the other badges. I just got to replay this clip because look at where I'm taking that from, from literally half in the wreck this game i end up scoring 47 on 17 for 21 shooting and 13 for 16 from three yeah they were some bums but i'm still got my timing down so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys the jump shot right now make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so these are my park stats right now 471 and 50 in the park 15 and 0 in the wreck and 38 and 1 in the 3v3 pro-am if you guys are asking me about my badge layout, I'm going to drop the link in the description. My badges change for every single mode I play, and that is very crucial. I notice a lot of people don't do that, so you guys definitely got to check that video out. The link is in the description. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys the jump shot. Look at me, man. Sweaty Superstar 1. Uh, I have not been grinding rep like that because nothing is transferring over, so there's really no point in grinding rep. I'm just getting these daily uploads out for y'all. So... Y'all gotta drop that like, man. Otherwise, you will be missing shots in the Pro-Am. So make sure you like it up for me. We got the Dante XM base, which is the best ba base in the game. Listen, I've watched 2K Lab. I've seen other YouTubers. This, that, and the other. This is the best base in the game with 100% lead speed. Kyrie Irving, 100%. All I did was I changed the release speed up for Kyrie. Uh, it was always 100% for me, but his release is a little bit quicker in Pro-Am. And I need to get the shot off just a tad bit quicker than I do in Park. As you guys can see, I'm releasing the ball every time every time the ball goes to his forehead as soon as his wrist goes to his forehead i'm letting i'm letting go of square and i'm letting it fly and you will green up every single time so like i said make sure you guys like comment subscribe i'm gonna catch you on the next one it's your boy tony from the i don't even know anymore because i can literally shoot from anywhere peace